Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people's show. Check the post of Rebecca Nation. Brought to you, Rebecca Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the top three things I'm looking forward to watching and hopefully seeing a drastic improvement on when Nebraska's football season starts here in the next couple of weeks. Other than just being able to watch Nebraska football, here are those three things. Now, I, I did look up a bunch of stats because I'm going to start off with the defense. I'm a defensive guy. I know just about every other person on planet Earth and the Milky Way galaxy under God's hot sun would start with the quarterbacks, but I'm a defensive guy. So I'm going to start with the defense. But I did have a whole bunch of stats that I had looked up, I had written down. I was like, you know what? Uh, the stats aren't phenomenal. And I've gone through some of them before. So I'm just going to talk about what I'm looking forward to, not what is behind. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the black shirts. Now, first and foremost, are we going to get after the quarterback? I've said it before, 400,922 times exactly. I have not kept track, but that's pretty close. Can we get after the quarterback? That is the number one way to have success as a defense. All right, number two, can we stop the run? We do play football. We do play in the Big Ten conference where teams like Iowa and Wisconsin and it's cold and you need to be able to stop the run are we going to be able to tackle better okay obviously we can tackle but are we going to tackle better that has been an area that we've needed improvement in for quite a few years now the bottom line are the black shirts gonna have the attitude okay now let me be clear all right if you just walk on the field have a bunch of attitude that ain't exactly what I'm looking for what I'm looking for because Let's say swagger, okay? Swagger is earned. Let me repeat that. Swagger is earned. Can we earn our swagger back and get that attitude back? Now, a lot of people, when I first started the show, they love the fact that I threw the bones at the end of the show. A lot of excitement, a lot of, a lot of frost was coming in, just a lot of energy. Black shirts haven't done as well. Again, I'm looking forward to seeing them hopefully do better and get better. But now people are like, don't throw the bones anymore. I'm going to keep throwing the bones because eventually the black shirts are going to get back. All right, number two, the quarterback position. Adrian Martinez, Luke McCaffrey, otherwise whoever the starting quarterback is. I'm the only guy who doesn't assume he's just going to be the quarterback. And I'm fine if Adrian is. For the one millionth time, I want the guy who earns it to be the starting quarterback. If that's Adrian, who it's probably going to be, I'm perfectly cool with that. The biggest thing I want to see... When you watched Adrian as a freshman, he played fast. He played fearless. He played with no fear. Now, he made mistakes here and there. And I pointed out plays in the past where he'd make the wrong read and then he'd go for a 50-yard touchdown. Why? Because if you're playing fast, you're not going to be right all the time. But if you're playing fast, you're going to do something right almost all the time. I want him to make quicker decisions mentally, play faster physically, especially with those legs when he uses those legs because they're great weapons. Playing fast and playing without fear. Sure, there'll be some mistakes here and there, but that will lead to drastic improvement. Last, but certainly not least, because offense puts butts in the seats, defense wins games, the trenches wins championships, or we're going to go to the ugly side of the trenches, the offensive line. I'd like to see them get back, whether it's this year or in the near future, at some point to be in the pipeline of old. Now, first, you got to be good. Okay, We haven't been good. You got to be good. Then, hopefully, we can be better than good and potentially even dominant at some point. Now, I'm, I'm not the first person to tell this story. I've heard this story numerous times from numerous people in the mid-90s. I believe it was 94. I believe it was versus Iowa State. The offensive line, the pipeline would come up to the line of scrimmage, and they'd point at the guy, and they'd say, we're running right here. We're blocking you. And they would, and then they'd go for like 10, 15 yards. They'd come up. They'd run the same play. We're blocking you. We're running right here. Now, you got to be awfully, awfully good. And you want to talk about attitude and swagger. you got to have that. First, you got to earn it. I want them to get to the point they've got experience, a whole plethora of people back, a lot of talent, a lot of size that they brought in. I want to see them get back to being good, then better than good, and then potentially dominant, like the pipeline of old. And so good at what you do, it almost doesn't matter if they even know what you're going to do before you do it because you're so good at it. We've got a ways to go, but I think we can start getting there this year. Go Big Red Nose. Remember... To throw the bones. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.